Hi, this is FAIR TV. I'm Peter Hart. A State Department review of the controversial Keystone XL pipeline appears to some to be a green light for the project to move forward. This prompted a discussion on Meet the Press, where the question was whether Barack Obama was going to seize the day. No, not to take a stand against climate change, but to do something to please Republicans. No, I know the left can be upset with the president, but th there's a real opening to say to Republicans, hey, you said this is a priority? Well, I studied it, and I think it's a priority, too. We'll go ahead and do it. Well, I, you know... It could be a big <laughs> moment for him. NBC reporter Chuck Todd elaborated on the importance of bipartisanship. On the big picture legacy thing, you know, the other part that, that the president was elected on was changing politics as we know it in this town. And that's what sort of has stunned me from the David Remnick interview to the State of the Union itself, which is all painted pictures of, you know what, he's resigned to the, constra the, to the constraints of the office and the constraints of the politics of this town. He's given up on trying to break the polarization uh, addiction that this town has. Um, some will say he added to it, but uh, he's given that up. And to me, that's, the, that's going to be something that I think historians are going to be writing about as the great disappointment of the Obama. But I think you know, it's doubtful that historians living in an era when coastal cities are entirely underwater will look at Barack Obama's failure to make common cause with Republicans to accelerate the burning of fossil fuels as the great disappointment of his presidency. You know, corporate media often do a lot to make you think the stock market really matters to you. Sometimes they try just a little too hard. Take this February 4th ABC World News report on the recent drop in the stock market. That news doesn't matter to most people, but ABC seemed to think that it did. The average American family's 401k hit hard, now down as much as 5.8% this year, which means that typical nest egg of over $100,000 has lost almost $6,000 in just the last month alone. Now, here in reality, the average American family doesn't have a 401k account at all. According to one report last year, wealthy families are far more likely to have such plans, while the average worker has almost nothing saved for his or her retirement. So who is in ABC's typical family with a $100,000 nest egg? We're not exactly sure, but we're sure it's not most people. And finally, Fox host Bill O'Reilly had a chance to talk about his favorite subject recently, Fox host Bill O'Reilly. He was promoting his Super Bowl interview with Barack Obama, and he was touting that Fox News is actually the most trusted news outlet. Although the president sometimes criticizes Fox News, he knows the power of it. The public policy polling group recently surveyed registered voters about who they trust in TV news. Fox News won by a landslide, 35 percent of the public trusts FNC. Second, PBS, 14 percent. CNN clocked in at 10 percent, just 6 percent of Americans trust MSNBC. So like it or not, we are a force in the USA, despite the dishonest pounding we take from crazed left-wing critics. Now, one can only hope that Fox fans didn't try to find that poll themselves, because if they did, they would see this headline which puts things just a little differently than Bill O'Reilly did. Yes, some people said they trusted Fox News more than any other news outlet, but about the same number of people said it was the least trustworthy news outlet. The outlet that actually scored the highest on trust was not Fox, it was PBS. Now, later on in the show, a guest brought up this inconvenient fact that Fox was found to be the least trusted news outlet in that very same poll. O'Reilly's response was, I don't think the least trusted has anything to do with anything. Well, there's no doubt that he feels that way, but by misreporting a poll about his very own network on the issue of trust in media, no less, Bill O'Reilly gives everyone yet one more reason to not trust anything he says. I'm Peter Hart. Thanks for tuning in to FAIR TV.